and welcome to another studio vlog. If you are new here and this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Sheena and I'm a digital content creator and Etsy shop owner based in New York City. So as you can tell, I'm a little bit more done up today and prepared, not because I'm going out because it's super freaking hot outside, but because today I'm doing some bulk recording. Now I'm not sure if you guys know this, but most content creators record all of their videos or all of their podcasts in like one day and then throughout the couple of weeks that come up they just release and basically time things appropriately for what their audience is expecting and I've been trying to be much better about releasing a video once a week and I realized that I just physically cannot do that if I'm not bulk recording and then bulk editing so I am set up in my bedroom right now getting everything ready for my sit down videos and I would like to get three done today if possible uh, along with also doing some studio vlog content so I'm gonna be super ambitious but I think this might work out and then as you guys can see here I literally just have my Canon set up on a stack of books and then a pair of Jordans and a stool um, because as you guys can see the space between my AC unit and my bed I just cannot fit a tripod here so this just works best I mean sometimes we we tend to overcomplicate things and it just makes processes take super long so because this works for me this is what I do so once I'm done recording for you guys right now, I'm actually gonna set my iPhone down right here and use that as a voice recorder because I've told you guys the voice memo app on the iPhone does a very good job of doing a voiceover or additional audio because audio straight from the camera is usually no good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and hopefully I can get these videos done. So off the bat, like I can tell that I am fairly in focus here on the iPad and you know also on the main screen because I can kind of see myself. But if you guys look at the iPad and look here, you can tell that my bun is kind of cut off. So all that I'm going to do is stack another book here, bring it up a little bit higher and we should be ready to go. All right guys, so welcome to Procreate, welcome to my iPad. So today I'm gonna go ahead and design my very first bookmark for the Brooklyn Post shop. I've kind of been apprehensive about making new product. I don't know if it's just fear or anxiety, but I don't know, I feel like stickers are kind of like my sweet spot. They're simple, they're easy, I can make them at home and I don't have to work with manufacturers. So I think this is just like my comfort zone. But I also worry that if I don't start expanding my product line, that I'm never going to be able to grow the Brooklyn Post brand. So I'm really excited about this one. This is gonna be one of the first new product lines that I introduced this month. And so, yeah, just stay tuned for that. Now what you guys are seeing here is that I did a split screen, so I'm actually looking at an old bullet journal spread that I did um, in my 2019 bullet journal, and I'm just basically recreating it for the bookmark. Now, just in case you are not familiar with this quote, um, it's actually from Hamlet, which was written by William Shakespeare. And so that is basically where the inspiration is coming from. It's one of my favorite quotes. It's something that I basically read over at least once a week. And so I figured why not put it on something that I'm also able to share with you all. So when it comes to making bookmarks, I decided to not make them at home in my studio and actually go ahead and have them outsourced to a third party manufacturer or printing press. Now I have my reservation about doing that because obviously when you work with a manufacturer you are not a hundred percent control of the environment and how they're making your product so you're kind of at their mercy in a way but I know that this is the only way that I'll be able to produce them in the quality that I would like to so we'll see how this works out
right now moving on to the next day i am doing one of my favorite things which is packing orders i feel like even watching other people's studio vlogs i do not get tired of seeing people pack orders i don't know what it is um and some good news is that i am doing a bit of a change to my packing process which you guys will see a bit more towards the end of this video so just be sure to keep watching Okay, so this is a few days later and of course I am starting my work day which is filling out my bullet journal I'm not like the best person at like time blocking and kind of keeping up a consistent schedule but if I wake up and just write down my tasks in my bullet journal I'm pretty good about getting them done as long as I don't like overwhelm myself with too many complicated tasks and just as I was finishing up my morning to-do list, I actually got a notification that my package was here, which of course are my bookmarks. And before I show you guys, this is exactly why I say I have trust issues with manufacturers. Just stay tuned and listen to what happened to me. So this one wasn't even cut properly. It had like some of the image feed over. Like, so even on the front side, look at these feeds. I don't want these at all. I kind of just want to refund this is like really bad like if the back isn't fucked then the front is mm -hmm. so whoever did this wow so even the stack that i'm laying down i'll probably have to flip them over and they're probably going to be damaged and the print quality is not great for this to be black print i can see straight through it kind of makes me just feel like i should have made these at home myself mm -hmm. Part of the joy of owning your own business is doing stuff and dealing with people like this that sell you garbage, don't do any quality control, put it in a box and charge you rush shipping. I only waited to... like so long for these, like I was so excited. I have the ribbon ready, like part of me doesn't even, look at this, I don't even want to sell that in my shop. Like, they're literally bent. And now to look at the front side, look at all of these with this extra. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, babe. So out of all the bookmarks, I was able to keep about 20% that actually looked decent. So I was just not satisfied. I had to go ahead and go online and email their support team and try to get some type of resolution out of this because now I was even further behind on my launch date. And I haven't posted the company's name or said their name because I like to give companies the benefit of a doubt and try to let them redeem themselves so just continue watching the vlog and you'll see how this entire situation plays out so this is the next day and i'm just up making my prototype for my new sticker pack i decided to go with like a carnival type of like circus theme just because i've been watching shows like euphoria and i just ordered the book uh the night circus so it's just been on my mind and i felt like the sticker pack was an inevitable it was going to happen and i'm really happy with how it came out it's very simple but it's like just enough to give you a good monthly theme to work with 
So even though I design my stickers in Procreate, I always bring them into Photoshop and go ahead and do some rearranging uh, to print that prototype. And this part can actually take quite a bit of time, especially if you're a perfectionist, because you'll just move things around for hours if you don't give yourself a stopping point. So I realized that something was missing, so I decided to go back into Procreate, design some stars really quick, and then go back and plug those in and move things around again. So as I mentioned, this can be a tedious process, but if you really take your time and after a ton of experience, it'll just get easier and easier. But it can be a time drainer if you don't just give yourself a stopping point. So once I put everything together and I thought I got a decent layout, I went ahead and ran it through my Cricut. Now, a question that I get all the time that I feel like I have to answer is how do you do kiss cut and cut out the stickers I have not made a video on this yet and it's going to be something that has to be thoroughly explained I can't just type it or say it in one sentence but I will say if you have not toggled your custom settings knob on your Cricut I would totally recommend doing that first and you'll be surprised what you're able to do So this is take two on the bookmarks. Take two. If this doesn't work out, like I'm literally canceling this company forever. Much I think better. it may also be thicker paper because I told him I want a thicker bookmark. So let me grab. Mm -hmm. mm. Beautiful. And like the flimsiness. Look at this one. Almost like a flimsy one. Mm. It's dirty. It's just a different. Thickness all together. Way. I know what I'll be doing tonight. <laughs> Stringing up <laughs> bookmarks, but this is, it looks so much better. It looks so much better. Sweet. So I got about a hundred to sort through. Yay. To double check in their packaging. Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop in really quick and give you some FaceTime here on camera because I saw your votes from the last video poll. It looks like a lot of you like a mix of voiceovers and also me being on camera. So I wanna take the opportunity to do that now. So I wanna run through some really quick updates with you and then we'll jump back into some more, you know, time-lapse material. Um, but first off, yes, I do have new glasses. There is nothing wrong with my old pair of glasses. They're still perfectly fine, um, but I just got tired of having just one pair all the time. And I was worried about running them through the ground. So I just went ahead and got a second pair from Warby Parker. I'm happy with them, no complaints, and I feel like they're a really cool fit. Um, let me know what you guys think below, and if you're curious on what frames I have, I will link them for you, non-sponsored, but I have a feeling I'm gonna get that question. Now, the second thing, for those of you that have been watching my vlog for a while, you probably noticed some differences like in the background, not only in this area, but also at my desk. Um, Dustin and I went to Ikea the other day and we really stocked up on just getting a couple of things for the apartment just to really change things up because we're re-signing our lease and our apartment has looked the same for the last two years, almost like no one lives here. And so we just wanna kind of bring some more life and warmth back to it. I did get an entire new desk and new desk set up and I will have a whole separate video for that because I've been slowly grabbing some clips and some b-roll so just stay tuned for that so the next thing I want to talk about is a whole bookmark fiasco you guys saw that I received the shipment and I was just blown away by how 
poorly they arrive. And it was just a multitude of things that I think caused this, but um, even though I'm not a professional, it just looks like the way the bookmarks went through the actual like cutting machine actually caused more damage to them than it needed to be. And the way that they were packaged was not great. Like the fact that such a large brand or manufacturer is not able to just put bookmarks into cello bags or some type of protective sealant um, just kind of sucks because they're just being thrown around the cardboard box and then once they arrive they just look like shit so yeah that really sucked and I was disappointed but you can't cry over spilled milk you got to get over it so I basically had to sit down for a few days and go back and forth with their support team and they have sent the new bookmarks in so right now I'm gonna just take the time to kind of go through them make sure they all look good start putting them together so you guys can go ahead and stay tuned for that so the next topic I want to talk about is the fact that I've officially launched a Patreon. So many of you have been asking me like for months, like when that was going to come. And I just felt like I didn't want to put it off any longer and like wait for perfection. So I'm really happy that it's finally launched. If you guys want to see more about it, I not only made a YouTube video kind of outlining what it's going to be about, but I'll also have a link below to the actual homepage so that you can check it out for yourself. And just in case you guys are curious, I'm going to have all types of updates on there from blog post to podcast um, sending you guys some snail mail letting you vote on future video content things like that so if you guys are interested in looking for a more focused community and more frequent updates go ahead and check me out on there and the last update which I am super excited about is that I have partnered with a new brand on the studio vlog named no issue and I just love their name because I literally had no issues with working with them so it is really the most appropriate name I've ever heard and for those of you that have never heard of no issue they are a custom packaging supply company and I have seen them working with a few other like Etsy shop owners and creators here on YouTube so when they reached out to me to send me some free product to show you guys I was over the moon because it's right in alignment with everything that I do with my shop and what I constantly tell you guys about investing money and upgrading your setup. So you guys know I have been using the same packaging supplies that I bought off Amazon since I opened my Etsy shop back in December 2018. I'm not saying there was anything wrong with DIYing and finding your own inexpensive supplies off Amazon but there is a certain point in your business where I feel like you really do need to level up and now that I'm approaching about a year of running my Etsy shop I have not only revamp some of my banners and things like that but I also plan on rebranding my logo and of course my packaging supplies so no issue was so awesome and they went ahead and let me customize some of my own tissue and thank you stickers now because I already had a thank you design that I really loved I just kind of went in and applied some small tweaks to it and changed up the color to go with my new tissue paper and when it comes to the tissue paper, I basically went into Procreate and just made a completely custom tissue paper design that I think just goes so well with what I do and what my shop is all about, which is basically stationary bullet journal supplies. So once you've designed your custom tissue paper and your stickers, you just go ahead and upload it to their platform, check out and submit it to their team. And one thing I love is that their team is super fast on replying and they'll go ahead and make sure that your tissue paper and your stickers are in the right dimensions and that you like the final product before they print. If you guys wanna check them out, I will have a link below for you to see what they offer and maybe customize your own tissue paper and stickers just to level up just a bit in your business. So I'm gonna stop babbling on. You guys have seen a bit about how I put that together. Some of the no issue platform, which is super easy to use. And I'm going to show you guys what the custom tissue paper and stickers actually look like, how they were sent to me and how I use them to now package my future Etsy orders. So that's it. Let's go ahead and check out the product. All right, you guys. So this is the box that I received. Um, as you can see, it's huge because I got the tissue paper that was the bigger size. Um, so for future product, I'll be able to wrap anything that I carry. And also I would be able to cut these in half and get double the usage. And as you can see, they don't roll up the packaging um, to ruin your paper or to crease it. Everything is delivered flat, just like this. So let's take a look. So first up are these custom sticker sheets. You guys know this print because I used it for previous thank you stickers like I mentioned. And honestly, I just love that this was a throwback print that I created and I just went in and kind of changed the color scheme up. I changed the color of the shirt and this is what it looks like. And of course, 
super, super amazing quality. So I'm gonna now use these to seal up my packages rather than using string or anything like that. And they were also kind enough to send me these compostable mailers. So if I happen to carry, let's say t-shirts or mugs or something else in the future that needs a bigger piece of packaging, I can go ahead and put it in here. And obviously it's compostable, so it's good for the environment, but I absolutely love these little baggies. Now, when it comes to these shipment bags, they're not fully customizable. They just come in the black color for now, but either way that works for me because right now I just use plain white envelopes and that works for me. So this is definitely not a problem. And then now we're gonna move over to the star of the show, which is the tissue paper. And I wanna be gentle with it. So first off, like look how big this tissue paper is. So that makes me really happy. Like I could literally fold it in half and be able to cut it and use it for multiple shipments. So that's what I love the most. So I'm just so happy with this, you guys. Like I have so much tissue paper in here that I'll be able to use for probably hundreds of shipments. And I'm just really, really happy with the service I received. So that's it guys. So if you like what you saw and you wanna check out your own tissue paper or your own stickers, again, I will have the link below. Thank you again so much No Issue for sponsoring this video. You guys are amazing. And I can't wait to pack future orders and for you guys to see this pretty new tissue paper and stickers I've created. And honestly, I'll have to create a new sticker for the outside of my envelopes. I used to have a thank you sticker on the outside, but now I'll probably create something new like a happy mail sticker or something. But I'm just really happy about simplifying my packaging process and even though I think the string is cute and the yarn is cute um, it does create like a bulging effect to my packaging which can create issues so I'm just really looking forward to having completely flat mailers um, and something new to ship out to you guys so now let's go ahead and wrap up some product together using this new tissue paper and new stickers and I hope you guys enjoy it All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the video out. I truly hope you guys enjoyed it. If you saw me use anything in this video and you were curious about it, I will always have it linked below in the description bar. And if you have not checked out my Patreon, I will also have that linked. I have so many goodies on there and blog posts, advice and tips that I think will really be beneficial for you guys that are into opening your own Etsy shops. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.